welcome back. My name's Matthew McLaughlin, and today I wanna teach you the proper way to wash your electric bike. Usually water and electricity don't get along, so let me give you a few tips to make this work easily for you. So, cleaning your electric bike. Is it as scary as that sounds? The simple answer is, well, no. Not really, anyway. You just have to be smart about it and take your time. You see, electronics like these are nothing more than bits of metal and plastic. So take your time, cut the circuit breaker first, unhook your battery, remove it, and then wait for the electricity to leave the controller. Give it about 10 or 15 minutes to make sure there's absolutely no charge left in the bike. While you're waiting, fill up a bucket of water. Then add some soap. And throw in your sponge so it can start soaking up the soap. Next, fire up the pressure washer. Make sure to rinse everything off. And then quickly, before that all dries and leaves water spots, you want to take a towel and just wipe it all down, getting it dry. That way your frame is all nice and shiny. Bike looks awesome at the end. Especially with these guys, especially the Talaria, focus in these crevices. Little details like that you'll appreciate later when the bike's all perfectly dry. Make sure to get those wheels too. A lot of people often forget those. Another tip for you is if you do it like I am where I have a one side in the sun and the other side in the shade, start drying on the sun side because of course the water is going to evaporate faster. Lastly, reopen where the battery goes and dry off the inside there. I bet you're wondering why pouring water straight onto your bike doesn't hurt it. The main reason is how we take care of it after washing it. So here's the real trick when it comes to having an electric bike and power washing it, is look at the ground. You see all of the water that's still on the ground 
You're gonna wait until all of that evaporates, which means that on the bike, most of it should be evaporated, even in the nooks and crannies and everything. And then you're gonna wait another 20 to 30 minutes after that to make sure that every little drop of water that could possibly be in any of the connectors is all completely dry. So what I like to do is especially take the power connector and put it out where it is in the sun. That way it can dry extremely effectively. So wait until all the water on the ground is dried up and to see if there's anything left on the bike. Then wait at least another 30 minutes. And if you can wait till uh, uh, a day has passed, basically leave it in your garage or something, then that is the best case scenario to ensure that there's no short circuiting. So from here, it's just waiting. So now that the bike is thoroughly dried, check, make sure you don't see any drips anywhere that it's all set. Connectors are dry as a bone and we've let it rest that extra 30 minutes longer after the ground got dry. The last thing to do is to clean your battery pack. Now I already did this inside. Basically all you gotta do is take a wet cloth and just wipe this guy off. You want to avoid the connectors up here because there is still juice in the battery, but just wipe off the dust, a little bit of grime, and get into the cracks and crevices so it all looks fresh. So thanks for watching. Hope this helped you keep your bikes clean, maintained. And if you wanna see why I cleaned the bike today, stick around for the next video as I'm gonna be installing some graphics on this bike and I'll show you how to put those on correctly too. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one.